Hit Film Sensei here. Today, we're gonna make a real super simple background stars effect. So, when I made the Instant Universe video, I had several people say, but how do you make the stars? And my answer in that video was real simple. What you wanna do is just go to the Inkscape Digital's preset marketplace and then scroll down until you can find the stars preset. Download that preset and then drop it into HitFilm and use that. That's my advice to you, okay? But a lot of people say, well, I don't want to do that. I don't have anything, you know, whatever. And so, all right, fine. Here's a real quick and easy way to do that. First, I'm going to make a new composite shot, okay? Uh, and then uh, I want to have a Death Star in my composite shot. Oh, yeah, it looks so cool. But I don't have any stars to put back there. So here's what you can do. Make a new plane. We're going to call it Stars, okay? And, of course, we'll put it underneath the Death Star. No stars here, but we're going to add three effects to this to make our stars. We're going to start with a noise effect. We're going to drop that on there. Then we're going to add a threshold effect, and we're going to drop that in. And last but not least, we're going to add a speed effect, and we're going to drop that in. Okay, now the speed effect is in there because if you don't set that speed to zero, then those stars are going to be moving all over the place because noise is noise and noise moves a lot, okay? Under threshold, you just have to set the threshold to about 20% or so. It could be more or less, okay? And then the noise, you can just adjust the amount. So if you like it less stars, you go less stars. You like more stars, you go more stars. Personally, I like more stars, so this is sort of where I'm at. And basically, that's it. That's my background of stars in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.